What's going on everybody? It's Robert coming to you from the Bird Farm. Specifically, we are in the old Bird Farmhouse today. Now we've got something very special coming up. Um, first of all, I'm standing in the dining room of the old Bird Farmhouse, which is actually used as a bedroom also by previous occupants before. Um, so you guys have seen little snippets of this room. I told you that my mom, my little sister, and my stepdad were helping me out by cleaning this room out, um, getting rid of a bunch of junk that was in here, um, because there's something that I want to do with this room um, coming up that you guys will see that I think will be pretty awesome. And one thing that I want to get done today, for one, this is the last day. We've had uh, a couple weeks to get this room cleared out, emptied out. This is the last day. We're down to the wire now to get this done. Um, so that is what we're doing. So at the end of this video, hopefully you'll see it completely cleared out. What we're going to be working on is right over here. You see we have an open doorway right here. And what I want to do with this doorway is put a door in there. Uh, to kind of help keep this room a little bit warm until we start working further back that way. Um, it originally had a door here. Um, you can see, uh, obviously, this is a doorway. Um, and somebody added something not too terribly long ago there um, that we're going to remove. But you can see down here the old door hinges on this side and over here where the hinges went. So obviously there used to be a door here and it was taken down at some time. Now I want to put another door here for temporary purposes um, and I'm going to have to go rob a door from another part of the house to put here. The good thing is we can always swap it back um, and if we decide to open this doorway back up we can take this door back down and put the door back to where it came from. So let's go get that door. Alright so we're in another part of the house right now and we found our victim door. This is the one that we are going to move over there to the dining room. So let's get it off. Think about this blue. What do you think about it? All right, guys. As you can see, we got this room for the most part cleaned out. I really like this focal point of this antique drill right there.
All right, so now it's time to do a little bit more cleaning. I'm gonna fire up the shop vac, throw this on time lapse, and try to get down all the cobwebs and stuff from off the walls. Then I'm gonna to have to vacuum this floor, and uh, let's get it. Alright, so I think that's a little bit better. We got down a lot of the cobwebs. Um, there's some stuff that's really stuck to the wall and there's some stuff that's really high up there on these very tall ceilings that I cannot reach. I have to bring a ladder and come out and actually wipe the walls down and that sort of thing. And I still have more stuff to go through in this room. We'll do that on an upcoming video like this old bookshelf here, filing count, all that sort of stuff. Um, what's in there? This, this is an old piece of furniture right here. So it'll be interesting to see what's in there and go through it in a little bit more detail. This is actually not very old right there. It's a uh, water jug from a hospital. Um, it's still, you know, 40, 50 years old. Um, we gotta look through this and see what's in there and just other stuff to go through in here now this is kind of the start of some of my museum aspect stuff a lot of these bottles were actually dug up here on the old bird farm um, and we've got other stuff that was found out here on the farm so neat stuff like that um, some old glassware that came with the place and was on this open that up you can see there's more of the same up there and uh, some of this stuff just put here just you know temporary um, Got stuff to go through for sure. So it'll be interesting to see what all we find in here. Is that an old drawer? No, it's a screw top. All right. We can make some lemonade out here with our, our juicer. Maybe. maybe. Uh, this, we'll try to get this functioning too. This is a uh, another old oil lamp. And you guys saw I've got the two on the fireplace ready to go. That one at the end though is broken, but that top on that one looks like it'll screw into that base. So we'll try to swap that in just a minute. We've got a closet here that we'll look through obviously another day. And for now we'll just keep that closed. Um, so we do, did put this door up as you guys saw. Um, gave us a little bit of trouble um, simply because of you can kind of see if I step back that this door frame is a little bit out of square. It kind of goes down over there. So there's just some squaring issues. So we we'll want to find a door to put in this doorway and make it give it a door again as it originally had. Now this door came out of another room in the house as you guys saw. Um, but it, even though it fits, it's, it's dimensionally the right door for this door frame um, because of some of the issues with the, with the frame. Um, it doesn't fit as well as I'd like it to. So we don't actually want to change this door. Um, probably in the future, I will swap this door back to where it originally went. Um, there's a reason that I, I wanted to put that door up there for now though. Um, so it works for what I want to do for now. Just some more kind of, you know, work that we'll do in the future. But we've got a functional room here at least. There's another pass-through closet here that we'll have to go through. It goes. All the way in there but yeah this is the sort of stuff that i was talking about a lot of you guys have asked me when i was gonna start working on the house and as i told you there was stuff going on behind the scenes i said that over and over again um and this house is full of stuff you know and um, a lot of it uh, needs to be cleaned out 
So you guys really cannot see the beauty of this house like I see it until it's cleaned out. So that's why there's stuff going on in the background that you guys don't know about because you're only seeing um, what's going up. And unless I tell you, which I do tell you, uh, there's stuff going on in the background. Um, but as we continue to do this throughout the house, we'll of course keep opening it up and uh, discovering new things. And I'm really, really excited about that. Really excited to have this room at this point too so we can uh, get to work and obviously this is the room that you saw us uh, stabilize the floor on the other day so now i'm going to try to see if we can't get this other oil lamp to work so we'll have three of them there so i think the base is definitely the same between these two oil lamps it definitely looks like it is this is just not a very fancy one um, but here's the problem with this base right here is it's been sitting up forever so it's super dry the wick is super dry in there so if we can get this wick out just kind of see if we can't ease it out and we'll work the we'll work the screw while we're doing that ease it some more let's see if we can't get this there we go got that to come a little bit try it again use my shirt sleeve for leverage there oh there it comes there we go. Hold wick out. And uh, yeah, turns like it's supposed to. It's a little rusty in there. But we got a trick for that too. Blow it out, get the dust off of it, then I'll have to vacuum back up. And we're not going to use this old base right here just because it's kind of plain. And I like this base much better. Um, this is actually an oil lamp that was found in the house um, this is a more modern um, base here I kind of swap some bases around so take this old base here and lubricate it with the lamp oil um, so we'll pour it pour it through the base Go. It's going into the lamp now. Now that oil should get in there. Yeah, you can see already it's loosened this up. So this wick is mega dry. Um, not sure how well it'll actually work, but we'll find out. We'll get it wet and see. I love these old lamps. Uh, there's so many of them that you actually find that are modern reproductions, but the old ones are so cool. There we go. We got lots of oil in that one. And we're going to go ahead and dip our wick in here. And and get it wet that way if we can work this we can't get it get it to work back in there all right we got the wick back in took some working on that one grab something we'll dust that off we'll see if this wick will actually come back alive for us there we go yeah, it's starting to work She's been dry for so long. All right, so there we go. We got it all back together. Um, the wick's working all right, um, which I'm surprised about as long as it's been dry. But uh, we put our, this is the one that was broken off of this lamp, let's swap from that lamp. So we'll put that back on the small one, stick it back in the cabinet, and we will see 
just how well, see how much easier that mechanism is working in there now? It's because of the, uh, the lamp oil got to it. Um, and that's just, that kind of is all you need to lubricate that up. There's a, there's a test right there. See if it actually burns. And it is, it is. Let's get our globe on there. Turn it down. There we go. Perfect. All right, so with just a little bit of repair work, we got three lamps lit up on the mantelpiece here. Pretty neat. Like I said, I love old oil lamps. And isn't that, that's a cool piece right there. There we go. There we go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video inside the old bird farmhouse. We got some really exciting stuff coming. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.